Hey everyone, Mr. Regan here, and today we're going to be looking at the last part of our outline where we are going to be navigating our outline proposal and looking to create our introduction and conclusion for our proposal. Now that we know that for our proposal, we are going to be submitting it to Kenta Paha and the Global Health Organization. And these people, though they need strong evidence and reason to understand why your treatment is optimal, they need to have an understanding of the problem that you're looking to solve and what the uh, your final thoughts are on this entire process uh, within your proposal. Our audience is important to keep in mind because these are people that need to not only understand the problem as it relates to your treatment, but also its final importance and your final thoughts so that they can make the best decision and make a connection with your writing and not just look at it from a, a purely treatment perspective. So let's go ahead and look at how we're going to navigate our outline and how we're going to complete our introduction and conclusion. So we know that at the very top of our uh, proposal outline, we have our resources. Um, in our resources, important stuff to point out, number one is your proposal prompts. If you're struggling with how to uh, write your introduction or struggling with how to write your conclusion or answer the questions, come in here. There's going to be some sentence starters you can use. Uh, to help you create that. Now, we know that our optimal treatment and results here came after tons of iterative testing that you have in your testing log. And the process that you took to get there and the problems that we were looking to solve are really what you're going to be using to introduce and summarize um, this proposal. So underneath your three criteria, Criteria one, minimizing costs, minimizing side effects, and minimizing resistance. You have your introduction and your conclusion boxes. In here, there are three sets of information that we need to have um, you explain in your introduction and three sets of information that you need to use to explain your conclusion. Now, the boxes here are to help you get that information down so that when we put it all together, you know what you need to use. So for your introduction, you have an opening summary. You need to explain the optimal design treatment and the criteria and outcome. Oh, for the opening summary, what background information do you need to present your reader with so they can better understand the malaria problem? This is where you introduce what the problem is, what they need to know about malaria, and what you're trying to accomplish within your treatment. So summarizing what you were doing, what the problem is, and that sort of thing. Optimal treatment design. This is where you present your optimal treatment and you need to explain all the variables within it. So what were your drugs, dose size, number of days, order of drugs did you put together to create that optimal design? And the last but not least, your criteria and outcome. So what were the criteria you were looking to accomplish and what were your outcomes? In other words, what were your results? How well does your treatment look to uh, accomplish those three criteria. So in here, you're going to be recording your information that you're going to use before you obviously put it all together for your introduction. This is what's going to start your proposal. This is what's going to end your proposal. And all the sections in between will be your evidence and reasoning, or in other words, your the body portion of your proposal. So what it will, it, it will read like, what was the problem? What was your solution? What was the results of your solution? Here's all the evidence and reasoning to explain why my solution is best. Here's how it completed criteria one, criteria, criteria three. And then you'll have your conclusion. Your conclusion is where you put all of your final thoughts together. So the first set of information we need to have in your conclusion was, how did you prioritize your criteria? What was the most important to least important? This will help us understand why some of your results are the way they are. Two. Treatment designs, I'm sorry, treatment design trade-offs. What trade-offs did you have to make in order to complete and uh, get through your desired results? We know that a perfect treatment isn't possible, but what did you have to trade off to get the results you wanted and what treatment results were you left with because of them? Last but not least, closing sta statements, excuse me. What would you say at the end of your proposal that would help convince your audience that your design was optimal for your treatment. So this could be where you talk about um, how effective you think your treatment is going to be in the real world. This is where you could talk about the importance of your treatment in the grand scheme of all the malaria things that are going on or all the things that are going on to treat malaria. 
this is where you could communicate the emotion uh, of why it's important for uh, in terms of what you're doing for malaria. So that's how we navigate some of the resources to help us along with how to organize your thinking about what you're writing and obviously how to complete the introduction and conclusion. Go ahead and make sure you complete your survey. If you put your X in your red, reach out. Otherwise, good luck.